Welcome everyone to a Wandering Winter video. It's been quite a while, quite a while, um, but I'm back here. Here uh, we have an interesting board. Shelters make Silk Road worse, kind of substantially. I love the Silk Roads, but I have to imagine they're probably not good here. You can build a council room engine. Um, council room's also better against slogs generally. Uh, cut purse is pretty good against the slogs as well. Uh, peddlers and to some extent merchant guild can enable the slog but it's not a great enabler um, but I, I think this probably has to be engine uh, the shelters being a significant factor but probably even without them we're going to open cut purse here and I think we're going to get hamlet right away we want a lot of hamlets to help get peddlers and enable council rooms um, I don't think you're really going to be building a draw your deck engine. He goes for storeroom, which is interesting. Smugglers is also a, a reasonable consideration. And, uh, yeah, I might be getting one of those here. Um, okay, he gets a Hamlet now. So he's really going for the Peddlers pretty hard. Um, which makes Smugglers a lot worse. So, it makes me inclined to want to get more Hamlets. Um, I guess Storm also goes with Poorhouse, which you could try to do. I still think I'm going to go get a second Cut Purse. Um, but I, I think I'm just going to start doubling down on these Hamlets. Um, now, these cards are both coppers, so I'm going to be getting two, two more hamlets here. Um, the cup purse is, is a real uh, thing here, though, right? Um, because, so I just, I just hit a copper from him. It stops you from getting five, but even with his strategy, it's going to stop him from getting four. Four, I think, is what you want, because I think you want to go double hamlet. He's going to get a poor house here, which is okay. Um, I could get a peddler here, but I think that's a little premature. I would rather get two hamlets at this point. And he's going to get two more here. That's fine. And now I have a choice between the last two peddlers or getting a council room. Uh, I think I want to get the last two, not peddlers, excuse me, hamlets. Um, I think I'm going to get the last two hamlets. Again, having one peddler right now is not that important. Hamlet seems incredibly important to what my opponent is trying to do. And, uh... So winning the split is kind of important. It's going to hurt his ability to be able to mass up on peddlers, and I'm not really sure what he's going for at this point. Um, more Hamlets is going to enable getting more Peddlers down the road as well. I'm going to get at least, um, I think I'm getting two Peddlers here no matter what. I was going to say I'm getting at least one, but I, I think I'm getting two no matter what. Uh, my opponent is probably getting, well, hmm. He could just be getting one here. This is his poor house, so he, he can get three. He gets a council room and two peddlers. Yeah, that was a very good turn for him. However, I am going to be getting a similarly good turn. And I, I'm pretty sure peddler is just significantly better for me here than poor house. And I just want to get as many of them as I can right now. Uh, we are going to need to worry about piles running out. Um, I guess my opponent is emptying the rest of the peddlers here. Um, so perhaps I've underestimated storeroom a bit. So he's going to have won the peddler split. Uh, he's going to have that storeroom, which is working really nicely for him. Uh, he could get a Smuggler's here, which is probably what I would have done. Another storeroom makes some sense as well. Uh, 
And now I have to think. Um, council room seems a natural fit. All the hamlets can enable poor houses. Um, so I'm thinking about council room poor house. But I also think I've probably gotten a bit outplayed here. In any event, I'm going to need the pile control. It's too early to green. Um, because, like, pile control is going to be a real thing. But... Wonder if he possibly has too many terminals now. This is seven. So I'd rather have six and two buys than seven and one because obviously the seventh money doesn't do anything for me. Um, so I didn't have to figure out what I was doing to, to take that buy. Now I could go for another council room poor house combination. Um, and it's a little bit risky that the poor houses can run out at any moment. But I kind of think I need to take that risk. The other thing I'd go for is like storeroom and smugglers. Um, I'm going to play it a little bit risky here. So this is very good, right? Um, if he doesn't win here, I like my chances. Uh, but he also could, you know, just win here. Very possible. See, now this seems a little bit strange to me that he discarded the copper. Tells me he probably has a storeroom in hand, or uh, not a storeroom, a poorhouse. Um, interesting. He took a, another council room, no poorhouse. So. Now I need to think, because if I get enough buys, I can end the game here. I think I'm going to go for that. I think I'm going to take the buy now. I only need seven buys because I get these six in an estate. I need six, eight money, so I have it regardless here. That was a very strange game. Um, like, I, I, I actually think the, the increased hamlets were a big deal. Um, I wish I could pull up the log without having to pull up a web browser here. Um, but, like, my Hamlet's made my deck a bit more reliable. I think he over-terminaled a bit. He was definitely ahead through the mid-game, so I like the storeroom, but he, had, he ended up with, like, two storerooms, three or four council rooms, and two or three poor houses, and I think that was just, just too much. I think after he got his lead, he should have just built a normal-ish deck, maybe some merchant guilds got a little points to uh, help protect him. Um, but maybe it wasn't ever that far behind. I think it was a little behind anyway. Interesting game, though. Thanks for watching.